experience in organizing science festivals and actually promoting science. So we all go on. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, although it's already good when we are gathered here at uh, such a number and, and at this beautiful place and on the occasion of science promotion. So, uh, as Costa already introduced me, I'm a third grade student at Mathematical High School in Belgrade and I am the initiator of the School Science Festival and at my former elementary school, uh, Stefan which is also in Belgrade. Uh, I want to uh, try to tell you everything that I prepared, so don't mind if I read a little uh, from the paper. Uh, when, uh, when I finish uh, my school obligations, I like to, uh, among other things, um, engage in science uh, popularization. So then I try to, uh, as much as I can, help my friends from the Center for the Promotion of Science. Uh, then with the Institute of Molecular Gen Genetics and uh, Genetic Engineering, uh, Center for Young Talents, Belgrade II, uh, Festival of Science in Belgrade, Internet Newspaper, House of Good News, Science uh, Scientific Use Portal, Viva Physics, uh, and from the other elementary school, this was Stefan Zavich. Uh, and I have to add that uh, most of uh, those friends are uh, girls, so science really is a good thing. Um, I'm working with all of them on uh, making people, but mostly uh, younger generations, uh, more interested in the science. Uh, so in my uh, former elementary school, as I said, I uh, initiated the creation of a festival. Uh, when, with the help from the principals, the former and the present, and then uh, from the teachers, but mainly physics professor Slatina Škoda, and uh, Vesna Petrić Rošvić and uh, Sonja Stamenovic from Belgrade's municipality Zvezda. Uh, and uh, with uh, the help from all of them, uh, the festival was born. Uh, and um, this year, on the 23rd of November, uh, we'll, we'll be unveiling the third edition of the festival. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm excited. So, um, uh, and from this experience, I have uh, learned two things. Uh, first, it is very important to have the support from uh, someone who is in the head of the institution where you want to make uh, such an event. Uh, in this case, this was, it was the principal. Uh, and the second thing, it's important that you have at least one like-minded uh, person that uh, will work with you as a team, so it's much, much easier than doing everything uh, by yourself. Uh, then another interesting thing that I've learned is that uh, when uh, that not the institutions do not organize festivals, but uh, individuals who have a vision and uh, who have an idea, and uh, they give everything, uh, do everything they can to uh, make um, <coughs> those ideas uh, uh, real to get them in motion. So, uh, like. <coughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, that uh, it is important for all those individuals to collaborate, and I think that uh, this that is why this conference is so important. Uh, I think that, and I think that we already started to connect, and that this the conference um, it fulfilled its um, duty. So uh, uh, let's talk about the science festival at that uh, Stefan uh, In the beginning, there was just an idea. And the idea was to repay the school, but more precisely the teachers and the principal, uh, for the effort that they put in uh, educating me and all of my peers uh, for uh, eight wonderful years at that institution. Uh, I wanted to help them uh, show their present students uh, the joys of learning new things and to explain to them that they aren't being taught just for uh, grades at school, but also for uh, life. Uh, in addition, there is always hope and the possibility, the possibility that some of uh, those uh, students will uh, eventually become uh, scientists and uh, take the path of uh, <coughs> uh, whose roots uh, might be sometimes bitter, but the uh, fruit is always sweet. So uh, the School Science uh, Festival is primarily intended uh, for school, for children to get their, them interested in learning, but there is a great turnout amongst the older generations uh, who have saved their inner child and what characterizes children. So uh, 
curiosity, a desire for exploration, and the learning about new things. Uh, all humans are born with uh, like geniuses and scientists, and every baby has a fantastic ability to study the world around it and to acquire new knowledge. Uh, so the problem is that many, due to a variety of environmental influences, uh, repress the kid inside of them. But the science festivals uh, are there to help them to find that inner kid and uh, to allow it to continue to play and uh, to help them some, uh, through their somewhat boring, boring, everyday boring life. So, uh, I, will, I would like to conclude uh, by sta stating at least a few important steps that uh, you should follow uh, when uh, organizing such science of popular events. Uh, so, for organizing any type of event, you need enthusiasm, uh, because organizing something like uh, um, a science festival it really demands a lot of uh, hard work and effort, and uh, a lot of sleepless nights, I uh, <laughs> must say. So, uh, the organizers of this conference also put a lot of effort in, uh, um, in it, but uh, I'm, and I'm certain that they I can't wait to get home and uh, get a little sleep, but uh, they are, I'm sure that they are happy uh, because uh, they gave their maximum and uh, because they made uh, such a fantastic thing as this conference. Uh, and now they can enjoy it, enjoy it a little, but not too much because around the corner there is another event like this, another project waiting for them, which also uh, requires a lot of uh, hard work. So and. Uh, a few more things, uh, you will need uh, a lot of friends that uh, uh, will give you support. Uh, then you need to go step by step, uh, sometimes a few steps at a time, but you can't, uh, uh, you, <coughs> you can't expect to immediately come up with everything. And uh, you have to start small, and then by the time you'll be amazed at how much your project, uh, your event will grow. Uh, then also it is important that uh, popular science events contain as, uh, as less uh, formal as possible, preferably none. Uh, the editor of one of Stephen Hawking's uh, books uh, once said that uh, every formula that you put in a book will, uh, uh, will lessen the, the number of readers by half. So um, he left only one formula. Uh, what do you think? Which one did he leave? He left uh, Einstein's formula E equals MC squared. Um, because uh, uh, that formula is popular by itself uh, and uh, it is known to the widest range of people. They don't see that as something that you have to think a lot about. Uh, they see it as a science symbol, basically. So, 